Good morning from Tikrit, Iraq. Uh, this video is going to be a rather sad video. Um, we're at a physical location in which a massacre occurred. Camp Spiker. Here, here are some illustrations of what happened back in 2014 where a minimum of 1,700 young cadets, which would be future military Iraqi officers, were, were killed. We'll go through some of the history. Uh, we'll look at the illustrations, and we're actually walking towards the locations in which a percentage of these uh, murders transpired. All of the photos that you see are real. Uh, these were real cadets, young men hoping to make the military and training. Uh, they were bound face down in the mud and then shot one at a time in the head. And initially this is how it started right here. When ISIS took over control of the neighborhood, they, they offered everybody one opportunity to give up their arms, their guns, and they were told if you surrender now, we'll let you free. You can go home and see your family. Uh, so these young cadets drop their guns thinking that they're going to have the opportunity to get home but as they walk down the street ISIS was waiting for them with trucks and thousands and thousands of them were put in these dump trucks um, and brought ultimately to to be murdered the 1700 is the estimate on how many died uh, due to the fashion of the murders and then the dirt being put over the bodies and or a percentage of them were thrown into the river we're about to get to. Uh, we'll never really know the true number and e even all of the different scientists that came together to try to uh, get DNA samples from the bodies, only a very small percentage of the bodies have returned home to the families, which is heartbreaking. Now, I don't get enjoyment out of shooting this type of content, but I think it's very important that the world sees and understands what has happened here. Terrorism is a real problem, and the military, police, and special forces here in Iraq are fighting against it daily. I consider myself somewhat knowledgeable in the world events. I didn't even know that this had happened until I touched down in Iraq about 10 days ago. So we made the three hour drive this morning in order to to be here and to create this video. So I should put a warning right now that there are some images here that could upset people. My heart feels like it's gonna come out of my chest. So if, I don't know. I'll show you some photos of the river. Uh, they're very pixelated photos, but as they, they killed the young men, and they threw them in the river. Uh, these are some photos of what it looked like. Now you might ask yourself, how did they get photos of this event? Well, ISIS documented everything with video camera and photos to brag about it. Uh, they actually created high quality production video in order to entice other individuals to join ISIS from around the world. So all of these photos were very proudly taken and videos were very proudly taken by ISIS. These are the trucks in which normally maybe 10 or 15 people could fit in a truck comfortably. They filled them with 40 and 50 people at a time. And at the time of entering the truck, I don't believe the far majority of those people thought they were going to their death, although that's what happened. I'll put in a clip that I watched of these young cadets being sort of forced down these stairs in which ISIS soldiers were hitting them on the back of their head and one by one they were brought to the river, shot and then thrown over. So this is the actual area in which it, it transpired. This includes dozens of men who were led to the edge of the Tigris, shot and tossed in the river. Now the far majority of those bodies were never found. We're about to look at a memorial of photos in which the family has brought 
to pay respect to the lost and loved ones. Take a few moments of silence and I'll just walk through and show you some photos. Looks like this is a screen grab of a video showing the body of this gentleman. How young this boy was. When you hear of a tragedy or a massacre on the news, it might only take 30 seconds of your day and then you get back into your routine and you it, it, it leaves your mind. But physically being here in the exact location in which it occurred and looking at uh, so many young men that were killed needlessly by terrorism, it impacts the, the heart and the soul a lot deeper than watching this on mainstream media. And to be honest, being in, in North America, I didn't hear any of this on, on TV at all. Didn't even make our, our evening news. So hopefully through this video, uh, we can help spread awareness of what happened back in two thir 2014. So the, the, the relatives of the, of, the, of, the, of the martyrs, they come here every year, yeah. I apologize for the graphic imagery. It says, observation, single photo shows a large trench with at least 35 to 40 men who are being shot by at least eight ISIS men. One of the ISIS gunmen is visible at the site. They call him the Red Beret Man. Was identified at Water Palace Execution Site Number One. So some of the ISIS, I hate to even call them soldiers, some of the members of the ISIS group have been caught. Uh, and even as soon as last week, I saw in the news here that either six or eight of them were, were charged with murder, multiple murders, uh, and have been given the death penalty, which will occur very quickly. So. A lot of these ISIS didn't get away with this, which is great. I hope they, I hate to say this, I hope they have a slow and painful death. You know, a quick death and execution is too, too good for these evil, evil people. So this is Tigris River passing by here. And of course, uh, all the bodies were thrown into the river. Yeah. And the so, current had taken it away. Yeah. So, as well, we should know where we are right now. We are in the, in the compound of Saddam Hussein. This, it's big, there's many palaces in here. But now it's, uh, the palace is itself it's used for security headquarters and stuff like that. So we were given permission to film here where it happened. Uh, we're not allowed to film anywhere else because it's an active military area. There are military all over. Um, so we're obviously going to abide by the rules been granted this opportunity so that's going to be a conclusion to this video 
uh, emotional day beyond a shadow of a doubt and I apologize for any graphic images or videos that are inputted to this video but I feel like it's required in order for the world to understand what's really happening you know again a lot of people only concern themselves with what happens in their their neighborhood or their city or their country but all of these beautiful human beings died needlessly and together as a world we have to come and fight this terrorism because the world doesn't need it we need peace we're all brothers we're all the same to imagine all these young men and a lot more were killed by the hands of terrorism it's disgusting heartbreaking imagine being that mother I have three children at home that I, I love more than the world. Can you imagine what's going through this mother's mind right now? I'm gonna leave you with a, an image. That's it guys, see you in the next, see you in the next video.